planning a trip to Japan but don't know where to start? Welcome to the ultimate guide to spending a magical fortnight in this enchanting country. From the bustling streets of Tokyo to the serene beauty of Kyoto, from the historical city of Hiroshima to the tranquil landscapes of Takayama, Japan offers an incredible array of experiences. Over the next 14 days, we'll guide you through a meticulously planned itinerary that will take you through the heart of this diverse and fascinating country. Japan is a land of contrasts, where tradition and modernity coexist in perfect harmony. It's a place where you can immerse yourself in rich history, explore cutting-edge technology, savour exquisite cuisine and experience the warm hospitality of its people. So whether you're a history buff, a nature enthusiast, a foodie or simply an adventurer, Japan has something for everyone. Get ready to embark on a memorable journey across the land of the rising sun. Our journey starts in Tokyo, Japan's bustling capital. Tokyo is a city of contrasts where neon-lit skyscrapers stand tall next to centuries-old temples and where tradition and modernity coexist in the most fascinating ways. We'll begin our exploration in Asakusa, a district steeped in history and culture. Here we'll visit Sensoji, Tokyo's oldest temple a place of spiritual respite amidst the urban hustle. A short walk away is Nakamizu Shopping Street, a vibrant marketplace where you can find everything from traditional Japanese sweets to unique souvenirs. After a morning in Asakusa, we'll head to Ueno Park, a sprawling green space that houses several museums, a zoo and beautiful cherry blossom trees. As the sun sets, we'll experience the nightlife in Shinjuku or Shibuya, two of Tokyo's most lively districts. Here, the city truly comes alive, with bright lights, bustling streets and countless dining and entertainment options. The next day we'll visit Meiji Shrine, a serene oasis in the heart of the city, followed by a stroll down Takashita Street in Harajuku, known for its quirky fashion trends. In the afternoon, we'll explore Shibuya, home to the famous Shibuya Crossing and the iconic Hachiko statue. We'll cap off the day with dinner and entertainment in Ropongi, a district renowned for its vibrant nightlife. On our third day in Tokyo, we'll embark on a day trip to Nikko, a small city in the mountains to the north. Here, we'll visit the ornate Toshogu Shrine and immerse ourselves in the city's natural beauty, a tranquil retreat from Tokyo's bustling streets. Tokyo, with its fusion of old and new tradition and innovation, offers a unique glimpse into the heart of Japan. It's a city that never fails to surprise and delight, where every corner holds a new discovery. A day trip to Nikko concludes our Tokyo adventure, but the journey is far from over. As we leave the city's bright lights behind, we look forward to the next leg of our journey, where more of Japan's captivating beauty and rich heritage await. Welcome to my channel. Next, we journey to Kyoto, the heart traditional Japan. Steeped in history and culture, Kyoto is a city where ancient traditions coexist with the modern world. As you step off the train and into the city's heart, Prepare to be transported to a world that's a rich tapestry of cultural heritage, natural beauty. Our first stop is the Fushimi Inari Shrine, renowned for its iconic path of over a thousand vermilion torii gates. This spiritual journey up the mountainside offers panoramic views of Kyoto, making it an unforgettable experience. As the afternoon wanes, we head head over to the Gion District. Known as Kyoto's Geisha District, Gion is a maze of narrow streets lined with traditional wooden machiya houses. If you're lucky, you might catch a glimpse of a geisha or maiko making their way to an appointment. On the second day, we start with a visit to, or the Golden Pavilion, a Zen temple whose top two floors are completely covered in gold leaf. Its shimmering reflection against the serene pond below is a sight behold. Not too far from here, we find Ryuanji, home to Japan's most famous Zen rock garden. The tranquil setting invites you to lose yourself in contemplation. The afternoon takes us to the Arashiyama district, where you can stroll through the enchanting, enchanting bamboo grove and visit the Monkey Park, a habitat for wild monkeys offering a fantastic view over Kyoto. As evening descends, we head to Ginkakuji, the silver pavilion. Although not covered in silver, its name suggests, Ginkakuji is a masterpiece of Japanese aesthetics. A leisurely stroll along the nearby Philosopher's Path, a cherry tree-lined canal path, is the perfect ending to our Kyoto exploration. Kyoto is a city that captivates the heart and the soul. Its timeless beauty, steeped in tradition, 
is a testament to enduring allure of Japan's cultural heritage. With our hearts full of Kyoto's beauty, we make our way to the next destination. As we part ways with this city that stole our hearts, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more such enchanting journeys. Prepare to be charmed by Nara's dear and Osaka's vibrant energy. As our journey continues, we find ourselves in Nara, a city that wears its history with grace. Here we explore the Grand Todaiji, a Buddhist temple that houses the world's largest bronze statue of the Buddha Virakana. The temple, embraced by the serene Nara Park, is a sight to behold. Speaking of Nara Park, it's not just about the temples and shrines. This park is also home to over a thousand free-roaming deer, considered sacred and natural monuments by the locals. You'll have a chance to interact with these gentle creatures, a unique experience that adds a touch of magic to your Nara visit. Our next stop is Osaka, where tradition and modernity coexist in perfect harmony. Our first day in this lively city takes us to the majestic Osaka Castle. Surrounded by a park with beautifully manicured gardens, this castle offers a glimpse into Japan's rich past. As evening falls, we dive headfirst into the vibrant energy of Dotenbori, a bustling district known for its bright neon lights, endless food stalls, and the iconic Glyco running man sign. Here, devouring street food like takoyaki and okonomiyaki is a must. Day two in Osaka could be a thrilling adventure at Universal Studios Japan or a culinary journey at Kuromoni Chiba Market. Either way, it's a day filled with fun and flavors. As we leave the bright lights of Osaka behind, our journey takes us to a city with a poignant past. Welcome to Hiroshima, a city that has risen from the ashes with grace and resilience. While the echoes of a tragic past remain, Hiroshima has grown into a vibrant modern city that embraces peace and harmony. A key stopover in our journey is the Peace Memorial Park, a solemn tribute to the lives lost during the atomic bombing. Here, the Genbaku Dome, or the Atomic Bomb Dome, stands as a poignant reminder of the destruction, and yet a symbol of hope and resilience. From the tranquil city, we journey to the allure of Hiroshima's culinary scene. The city is famous for its Hiroshima-style okonomiyaki, a savory pancake layered with cabbage, noodles, and a variety of toppings grilled to perfection. A must-try delight that perfectly encapsulates the city's resilience and creativity in every bite. As the sun rises on a new day, we embark on a short ferry ride to the enchanting Miyajima Island. Known for its lush forests and ancient temples, the island's centerpiece is the Itsukushima Shrine, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The shrine's iconic floating Tori Gate appears to rise from the sea during high tide, creating a surreal and serene vista. The island also offers a chance to hike up Mount Misen, the highest peak, offering panoramic views of the Seto Inland Sea. Whether you're exploring ancient shrines or enjoying the island's natural beauty, Miyajima is a haven of tranquility and spiritual reflection. Leaving the serenity of Miyajima Island behind, we head to our next destination. Our journey continues to Kanazawa and Takayama, where tradition and history come alive. Next stop on our 14-day itinerary is the elegant city of Kanazawa. As we step off the train, we're immediately greeted by an atmosphere steeped in culture. Our first destination is the Kenrokuan Garden, widely considered one of the three great gardens of Japan. As we meander through the meticulously landscaped grounds, we can't help but marvel at the blend of natural beauty and architectural artistry. From there, we make our way to the Nagamachi Samurai District. Walking these historic streets, we can almost hear the echoes of samurai footsteps. The district is beautifully preserved, offering a glimpse into the lives of these noble warriors. Day 12 dawns, and we find ourselves in the Higashi Chaya District. As we stroll through the charming streets, we're transported back to the Edo period. The traditional tea houses, with their unique architecture and rich history, are a sight to behold. Our journey through time continues with a visit to the Nomura Samurai House, a restored residence that offers an intimate look at samurai lifestyle. As we bid farewell to Kanazawa, we set our sights on Takayama. Nestled in the mountainous Hida region, Takayama is a city that seems frozen in time. We explore the old town, stepping into sake breweries and tasting the rich, nuanced flavors of this iconic Japanese drink. Our final day in Takayama takes us to the Haida folk village, here, we experience a taste of traditional rural life, from the thatched roof houses 
to the time-honored crafts, the village offers a serene conclusion to our journey through Japan. As our journey comes to an end, we reflect on the unforgettable experiences we've had, from the vibrant cityscapes of Tokyo to the tranquil gardens of Kanazawa and the historic streets of Takayama, Japan has offered us a rich tapestry of experiences. As we board our train for the final leg of our journey, we carry with us memories to last a lifetime. 14 days in Japan packed with unforgettable experiences and beautiful sights. As we wrap up our journey, we can't help but reminisce about the diverse range of cultural, historical and natural attractions we've encountered. From the bustling streets of Tokyo to the historic temples of Kyoto, every day brought new adventures and discoveries. In Tokyo, we wandered through Asakusa, took in the sights and sounds of Ueno Park, and tasted the vibrant nightlife in Shinjuku and Shibuya. The day trip to Nikko offered a refreshing change of pace, with its beautiful natural scenery and the awe-inspiring Toshogu Shrine. Kyoto, the city of 10,000 shrines, was a treasure trove of cultural heritage. The Fushimi Inari Shrine, the Golden Pavilion, the Zen Rock Garden, and the Bamboo Grove in Arashiyama were some of the highlights. A day trip to Nara allowed us to explore Todaiji, Nara Park, and the Kasuga Taisha Shrine. Osaka brought us the majestic Osaka Castle, the buzzing nightlife of Dotonbori, and a culinary adventure at Kuramon Ichiba Market. The journey to Hiroshima and Miyajima Island was a poignant reminder of history, but also a celebration of resilience and peace. In Kanazawa, we took a stroll through the Kenrokuen Garden, explored the Nagamachi Samurai District, and stepped back in time at the Nomura Samurai House. Our final stop, Takayama, offered a taste of traditional Japanese rural life at the Hida Folk Village, and the chance to visit the charming old town and sake breweries. Throughout this trip, the Japan Rail Pass was an invaluable companion, providing convenient and cost-effective travel between cities. This itinerary is a rich tapestry of experiences, but remember, it's just a starting point. Japan has far more to offer, and it's waiting for you to discover it. As the sun sets on our 14-day journey, we say sayonara to Japan until we meet again.